Are you crazy confused about bioidentical hormonal replacement treatment? I get it. I was there too. In this video, I'm going to share everything I've learned over the past seven years. And by the way, I'm on the better side of things now, and I'm going to help you save time so that you can get optimized now. Hey, if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to do so and also hit that cute little bell to be notified every single time I put out a new video so that you don't miss a thing. You know you don't want to. Everybody, my name's Kelly Alexa, serial entrepreneur, fitness fanatic, confidence coach, and most recently, keto convert. Like you, my hormones started going absolutely bat wire crazy around the age of 40. And for the past seven, probably eight or even nine years, I've been working with some great and maybe some not so great functional medicine doctors to try to achieve that ever so elusive hormone balance, right? I'm here to tell you how to get there and get there faster and stop wasting time. Let's get started, shall we? Okay, everybody. So as we get started here, as I give you my advice, on bioidentical hormonal replacement treatment. I'm gonna give you the first seven tips are really what not to do. And then the next eight or nine tips are what to do. And I also wanna tell you as well that this video, consider this, we're talking about bioidentical hormonal replacement treatment, but as well, look at this as also kind of a blanket video about hormone balance in general because some of these are a little bit more these are tips that that just cover what i'd say mistakes women make when they're generally starting to see hormone imbalances come up and they're making the same mistakes over and over so they might not be specific to bioidentical hormonal replacement treatment in making a specific decision on, you know, that that treatment, but it is going in that direction, so bear with me. We are going to get started on what not to do. Now, the first decision is self-diagnosis or this the, the first bad decision that women make, self-diagnosis. I was caught in this place for years. Ladies, stop self-diagnosing. Stop going down that path of, now you see these bookshelves behind me? I love to read, but I can tell you that I spent years, and tell me if tell me in the comments below if this resonates with you. How many of you women who are age 35 or 40 plus have bought every book on hormones, on adrenal fatigue, on estrogen dominance, on Hashimoto's, on hypothyroidism, or any or all of the above, and you're reading every book or taking every single quiz on hormone imbalance online, you're watching every YouTube video, but you still haven't gotten blood work done and you still haven't seen a doctor. You're reading every book, you're taking every quiz, and you're, you're like, am I hyperthyroid? Am I hypothyroid? Do I have PCOS? Am I, um, you know, are my ovaries? Do I have an issue? Do I have estrogen dominance? Do I have uh, high progesterone? You know, you're going on and on and on and you're self-diagnosing and you really have no idea what you're talking about. Why? Because you're not a doctor, I'm not a doctor. We can't see underneath our skin. We're not able to see our cells. We're not able to see our organs. Don't self-diagnose. Trust me when I tell you, you will waste so much time, probably money, not as much money as you think, but you will waste so much of your precious time. And you know what else you're doing too that you're not even thinking about? You will be stressing yourself out more than you think because you will be so confused. You will run around in circles. And, and I've been there. I've taken all of the online quizzes and I confused myself so much because so, so much about hormones that you will learn is that you can have so many overlapping symptoms and you will think that you have estrogen dominance and progesterone dom I can't talk estrogen dominance and progesterone dominance. You will think that you have hyperthyroidism and hypothyroidism. You will think that you have low progesterone and low estrogen. You will think you have high testosterone and low testosterone. You will go down so many rabbit holes and you will be also affecting your cortisol, which affects your hormones, which makes you worse. Don't do it. 
stop self-diagnosing. Number two, stop thinking that this is a fitness problem. Now, this is something I did for years. I see this all the time currently. In fact, I did a whole podcast on this topic. Um, I'm a member of several groups on Facebook um, that are fitness focused. For example, there's a group, I do a lot of Kathy Friedrich workouts. So I'm a member of uh, a group on Facebook where it's all Kathy Friedrich fans. I'm a member of a Tracy Anderson fitness group. Uh, believe it or not, I, I actually started doing Tracy Anderson workouts. That's something that's funny to me because I actually made fun of Tracy Anderson workouts years ago. And, and during last year when I was doing my reverse diet, I actually found out that Tracy Anderson is really good at doing crazy, weird and different, but really good and really effective workouts. Um, so I'm a member of this group of 10,000 women who are Tracy Anderson fans. And I'm, a fan, I'm in all these different Facebook groups and I see women posting these questions where they are asking people on Facebook medical questions about hormones. Okay, so <laughs> number one, when you have, this is pretty much piggybacking on what we talked about with um, the self-diagnosis. It's It really is very similar. But too many women think, and I was one of them, okay? So I'm putting myself in this category with y'all ladies. Stop thinking when your hormones start to go wacky, when you start to gain weight for absolutely no reason, when you start to have body temperature changes, when you, um, maybe your breasts get big and swollen, maybe your um, periods get very heavy, maybe you start having adult onset acne, all of these things, your libido goes in the toilet, all of these things start happening and you suspect something's crazy. But what happens is instead of going to see a doctor and, and start seeking out hormone treatment, what you do instead is you say, I'm gonna add more cardio, I'm gonna change my workout. And this is what I would see in these Facebook groups is I would see women going, I've gained all this weight around my middle. My body's changing suddenly. I'm gaining all this belly fat all of a sudden. I haven't changed my diet. I haven't changed my workouts, but suddenly I'm gaining weight around my core. Doesn't that seem strange to you that, that women would find that their body is changing all of a sudden overnight and they're attributing it to their workout or you know that they're not doing enough cardio. So, so many women, I was one of them, will add more workouts. They'll add more um, cardio typically, they'll add more running or sometimes putting this under the blanket of fitness, they'll add um, extreme dieting. You know, they'll, sometimes they'll add a combination of both. I did that. I would add more fasting. I would add um, 24 hour fasts. I would add uh, more cardio, more working out. I would add, you know, a power walk in addition to training four days a week with my trainer, two additional um, one hour workouts. And then I would add a 45 minute power walk a day plus a 20 minute hit for uh, cardio in the morning. I mean, I just kept adding and adding and adding. And guess what? All of that stuff I was doing didn't make a dent. Stop thinking that when your body is fighting you and all of a sudden you have all of these changes, it's not a fitness problem. It's a hormone problem. Get that through your head. The sooner you get that through your head, you'll, you'll thank me. Trust me. Number three, pretty simple. Stop thinking that this is magically going to fix itself or magically get better. It won't. Number four, this is pretty much piggybacking on what I said just a minute ago. Stop asking your friends or your casual friends or people that really aren't even your friends on Facebook or Instagram for medical advice. Stop going into these Facebook groups. I see it all the time. If you're watching this YouTube video and you think that this is a funny joke I'm making up, it's not a funny joke. I can give you screenshots, but I won't embarrass these people. I see women all the time going on Facebook saying, my body's changing, I'm gaining all this weight around my middle, what kind of progesterone should I be taking? And they're asking complete strangers, as opposed to going to a doctor and getting blood work and getting medical advice from a medical professional, they're asking strangers on Facebook. Facebook is not your doctor. I've recorded a whole podcast on this topic. I will link it below. Please stop thinking Facebook or Instagram or LinkedIn or Twitter 
or YouTube is your doctor. I'm not your doctor. Go to a doctor. Okay, I'm going to get a little scandalous here, but I'm going to go for it because I feel very strongly for this, about this, excuse me. Do not go to an OBGYN for bioidentical hormonal replacement treatment or for hormone balance questions in general. Do not go to an endocrinologist for bioidentical hormonal replacement treatment or for hormone balance in general. Do not go to your primary care doc for hormonal imbalance questions or hormonal treatment or bioidentical hormonal replacement treatment. So don't go to your primary care, don't go to your OBGYN, don't go to an endocrinologist. The number of women that I have talked to who have experienced horrific nightmares and experienced ridiculous treatment and wasted years of their time and, and, and wasted money and then given <laughs> a diagnosis and, and been given prescriptions for drugs that are so absolutely ridiculous from some of these types of, of practitioners, I can't even tell you. Now, I'm sure that I, I guarantee you down the road, there will be an endocrinologist or a primary care doc or an OBGYN who does a great job, who will comment and probably argue with me. I'm, I'm certain that I will offend somebody. It is my experience that you need to be going to, and I will cover this in our dues, which we're gonna to hop to in two seconds, you need to be seeing a functional medicine doctor, an alternative medicine doctor, an integrative medicine doctor, somebody who's under that kind of an umbrella who specializes in women's hormones. I have heard nightmare stories about women seeking hormone treatment from these types of practitioners. It doesn't mean they're not good at what they do. I have my own horrible experience trying to seek initial treatment from my primary care doc, and then from my OBGYN, I didn't see an endocrinologist. Do not start there. Trust me. Trust me. Hey, let me ask you a question. Is this video starting to make you go, hmm, let me hear from you in the comments. First of all, I want you to like this video or heck, if you hate this video, dislike it, go ahead. But I'm sure it's probably making you think. Is this resonating with you? Have you listened to the first part of this video and you're like, wow, I am making some of these mistakes. Are you excited to hear part two where I'm gonna start really helping you? Hit the like button, leave me a comment, let me know what questions you have, let me know what you wanna hear in coming up videos. Let's hit up to part two right now, let's go. Okay guys, this is part two. This is where we're gonna cover what you do wanna do when we're talking about balancing your hormones and getting bioidentical hormonal replacement treatment. And again, I just wanna stress what I said at the beginning of this video. At the beginning of this video. That's what my nephew Chase says, video, or he did when he was little. All of you are wondering why I'm saying that. I just put it out there anyway. Here's what I wanna tell you. When I first started bioidentical hormonal replacement treatment, and I really should look and see what year it was that I started so I can see exactly how many years I've been on this. Within 48 hours of starting, I felt a difference. The first thing I noticed a difference in was my sleep. Um, I think most people will, will feel the progesterone will, will make a difference. And, and for so many women, um, their sleep is affected. Well. I don't want to say that's the first thing that that is affected it's not necessarily that that's what happens in order but when you get your uh, hormonal treatment your bioidentical hormonal replacement treatment i i've personally myself experienced and i've heard from so many women once they go on treatment usually it's the progesterone that starts taking effect fastest and your sleep will improve so quickly i went from not being able to go to sleep without taking Excedrin PM every single night for the better part of seven years to being able to fall asleep and stay asleep all night naturally. Um, but again, to what I said at the beginning of this video, once you start taking a good bioidentical hormonal replacement treatment, and, and part of what I, I actually didn't type out in my notes here that I wanna make sure I stress, as a do, do make sure you're getting bioidenticals and not synthetics. That's key. It does surprise me sometimes how often I will be 
uh, in a fitness group or a health group, or I'll just have women come up to me and, and they'll ask me for advice online and I'll, I'll ask them what they're taking and they'll be sharing that they're taking a synthetic, um, uh, a synthetic thyroid, um, or a synthetic version of, um, some form of, uh, hormones. You've got to make sure you're not taking synthetics. If you're taking anything synthetic, you're really defeating the purpose of, hormonal replacement and you're really doing more damage to your body than helping it. So that's key as well. But the first and most important step that you're going to need to take in order to get yourself on bioidenticals is to get blood work done. Now, if you are just starting in this journey, here's what I would recommend. And I'm going to link up to a, a company that I, I use and recommend because number one, they have, I think, 2,500 locations all over the country, um, which means that they're going to be accessible for all of you. And number two, they have extraordinary prices. Um, when you start going down this path of getting your hormones addressed, it's just like kind of going to the chiropractor. Your insurance, sadly, is probably not going to cover a lot of that because welcome to America. Um but I can tell you, it is so worth it. This is so life transformative, it is worth it. So you need to get comprehensive blood work done. And what my suggestion to you is, if you are just getting started and you haven't picked a doctor yet, go get your blood work done first because here's the typical process. The typical process is you're gonna go see a doctor, a functional medicine doctor, whether it's a telemedicine visit or an in-person visit. If you go see the doctor first, they're gonna talk to you, ask you a bunch of questions. Then they'll go send you out for blood work. You'll get your blood work done. Then you have to go back to see the doctor. They review the blood work. Then they make recommendations. Why not eliminate that step? Trust me, I've been there. I'm gonna save you a step and I'm gonna save you a doctor's visit fee. Get your blood work done first. And I can also make recommendations on what to get in the blood work. Um, it could be expensive up front. You could pay anywhere from on the very, very low end, a couple hundred bucks to maybe 500 bucks or so for a, a comprehensive blood work draw. Um, again, Ulta Lab Test is the company I recommend. The link will be down below. Get your blood work done first. Then you will have a copy. Of course, anybody, this is also something I want you to make a note of anybody that you get blood work done if you go to your doctor and this is what i was kind of referencing before whether it's your OBGYN, your primary care doc your endocrinologist if you've been to any of these people and you've gotten blood work done and they don't give you a copy and they say that you don't that you're not allowed to have a copy of that that's bs and you need to go back to those people and demand a copy that's your blood work you're allowed to have a copy of that anybody who has done blood work on you before you need to get a copy of that but if you're gonna start now, you order it from Ulta Lab Test, they will give you a copy, then you go make an appointment with a functional medicine doctor. I will tell you this, I will strongly recommend my doctor, who I'm seeing now, she is exceptional. The great thing about this wonderful pandemic is that so many doctors now do telemedicine. So whereas a year, year and a half ago, you were limited by only seeing somebody in your geographical area, now you can find somebody who's fantastic like Dr. Ruthie Harper, who I see in Austin, Texas. I've actually never seen her in person. I've only seen her via telemedicine. You can see somebody via telemedicine anywhere in the country and get fantastic service. So number one, get your blood work done. Get your blood work done first. Find a functional medicine or integrative medicine or just what you want to do is start googling and look up somebody with great reviews you want to pay attention to the reviews somebody who specializes in bioidentical hormonal replacement treatment for women period don't go look for an OBGYN don't go look for remember what we told you before no OBGYNs no primary care doctors don't just go look for an acupuncturist don't go look for a naturopath that's my opinion if you wanna ignore my opinion, fine. It is my experience, you need to be with a functional medicine doctor. End of story. Now, once you have chosen a functional medicine doctor, here's what to expect. 
and, and what I want to encourage you to do when you show up for your appointment, whether it's telemedicine or whether it's in person. I want you to show up with your history. Type up everything that you have been experiencing. Ideally, literally, I want you to type up when your symptoms started, talk about everything, your weight gain, um, your libido, your skin temperature, or not your skin temperature, your skin changes. Have you had acne? Have you had um, libido changes? Have you had body temperature changes? Um, are you sweating where you didn't sweat before? All of your symptoms, you wanna type all of that up. You wanna come to your meeting with your doctor, with your history. The more information that you can bring to your doctor, the more that they're going to be able to diagnose you, okay? Secondly, I want you to understand that the more that you can come to this, um, this relationship as, look at it as a collaborative consultation, like this is a business partnership, not that you are a passive, okay, I'm gonna do whatever this doctor tells me. Here's the thing, I have been to three different functional medicine doctors. The first two did a pretty good job but the reality is they never helped me lose weight, the first two, first two doctors. And I was upset with both of them. I was, I was upset and I was like so frustrated that every time I went in, I would be like, I don't understand, why am I not losing weight? And I would be frustrated, but I never really spoke up enough. Now, some of that had to do with the fact that I was still in my people pleaser phase of life. I was still a little bit too worried about, you know, hurting people's feelings. I'm a different person now. That's, you know, before I became the confidence coach that I am now. And, and now I'm a, I'm a much more assertive person. I, I know how to draw the line. I know how to stand up for myself. I'm, a, I'm an advocate for myself. And this is what I want for you. You have to understand when you hire a doctor, they work for you. And particularly in this case, this is a really important, important part of your journey, your health journey, your life journey. You need to understand going forward, they work for you. So when you go in here, if you're not, if you're not happy, if you are confused, if you have a question, you have every right to go, I'm confused about this. I don't understand. This doesn't make sense. Let me tell you something. We're not going to get into this and I will link below to what I'm referencing here. When this current doctor that I have, who I'm recommending to you, um, that I hired in October of, so we're in 2021, when I hired Dr. Ruthie Harper in October of 2020, um, she said that, you know, I had to, I had to wait a little while before I could, you know, diet. I, I was in a reverse diet before I, before I met her. When she gave me my macros and finally said I could diet and she told me to go on this, she, you know, she gave me my macros and I looked at the macros and I saw it was keto. I was like, huh? And I push back, you guys. I thought keto was the craziest diet on the planet. I thought it was the biggest fad diet ever. Now, again, I'm gonna link below so you guys can watch the other video I'm talking about, but she was right. But the, 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 the thing is, I didn't know it at the time. I pushed back. I asked questions. I asked her why she wanted me to go on this diet. Why was this good for me? Why was it good for women age 40 plus with hormones? Why did she want this for me? Why was this going to work? Why was, I asked her everything. This is what you should be doing when you go into your doctor. Ask questions. Don't, I'm not asking you to be argumentative with your doctor, but go in and if something doesn't feel right, if you feel something in your gut, and, and, and if maybe you don't like the relationship, if you feel uncomfortable, you move on. Don't ever settle. Don't settle for mediocre results from a doctor. Don't settle for something that, that you feel uncomfortable with. If a doctor is saying he wants you on pellets and you don't wanna go on pellets, don't go on pellets. If a doctor is saying, if he gives you an answer you don't like, get a second opinion. I strongly, strongly, strongly urge you to go into this relationship and view it as a collaborative relationship versus the way we've looked at doctors before where we go in kind of like, well, whatever he says to do, I'm gonna take it. That's not the way you wanna look at this going forward. Strongly, strongly, strongly urge you to have that attitude, okay? It's gonna help you, I promise. Lastly, there's something to keep in mind, and this is probably not what you wanna hear. I think most of you probably know this, but this is a marathon. Um, fixing your hormones, sadly, is not something that can be done overnight. Um, men have it super easy. 
men pretty much just need to balance their testosterone, those bastards. Um, they just get their testosterone checked and if it's low, they get to add a little more and that's it. We have progesterone, we have estrogen, we have hyper, we have, I mean, there's just, and, and this is actually a good thing for me to close on. Um, this is actually a really good point. I just realized that this was not s something specifically I went into in my notes. So this is really good to close on. This is a marathon. This is something that you need to understand whether you're starting five years too late, like I did. You know, I waited way too long to, to after my body started changing and my hormones started going whack. I waited way too long to get my blood work done and, and start seeing a doctor. Most women wait way too long. This is why I'm so committed to making these videos and, and writing posts on my blog over at kellyalexa.com about this stuff because I wanna help more women not waste time. Um, because your life can be so dramatically different and better, like I said at the beginning of this video, you can be loving your life and looking forward to every single day and, and feeling better about yourself. And, you know, I mean, if I, if I would have thought when I was 20 that I would look and feel the way I do now at, at age 52, um, I never, ever, ever thought that this could be possible. But you know what? It wouldn't be possible if I wasn't balancing my hormones on, on top of leading a fit and healthy lifestyle. Balancing your hormones can change everything. I see people who I went to high school with who look 20 years older than I do. Um, it's sad, it makes me very sad. I run into people you know, out and about sometimes and, and we'll get into conversations. I meet people all the time who are you know, 10, 15 years younger than me and they look 10, 15 years older than me. It all depends on how healthy your lifestyle is and then as you age, it depends on your hormones. Um, my husband is 10 years older than me. He has the body of, honestly, a 35 year old. I, I still remember one time we had a, an Amazon Prime uh, now delivery guy at our, when we were living at this uh, like luxury apartment development where you they had all these elevators. And so when Amazon Prime now would deliver, we sometimes had to, if they had like a lot of stuff, we had to go meet the guys at the elevators and help them walk all of the Amazon Prime now stuff. And this one guy was very, very heavy. And, and so my husband and I were like going to the elevator and helping him carry all, we'd ordered a ton of these big bottled water things. And this guy looked at my husband and he's like, dude, how do you stay in shape? And he asked how old my husband was. And the guy said, he goes, I'm 32. And he's like, I, he's like, I'm huffing and puffing and you're carrying, you know, five times what I'm carrying. That's the difference when you take care of yourself, but it's also the difference when you balance your hormones. So number one, I wanna reiterate how absolutely amazing aging can be when you address your hormones. And then lastly, this is really, really important because as you start to see a, a specialist, please know what I, what I said a few minutes ago, women have so many hormones to address and so many things that could be messed up. We, we could have hypothyroidism, we could have adrenal fatigue, we could have cortisol issues, we can have estrogen dominance, progesterone issues, testosterone issues. I mean, I could go on and on and on. I've experienced some, pretty much all of those things. You could have PCOS. Um, I mean, you could, I could go on and on and on, okay? So you have to know that if you go to a practitioner and they just give you progesterone, or they just put you on a pill for your thyroid, or they, in other words, just put you on one thing, that's not bioidentical hormonal replacement treatment. Your treatment should be comprehensive. And just to give you an example as, as we close up here, here's what I take every day. I take, oh, I. I actually was just calling in my prescriptions. I thought I had them right here. Um, so every morning I take pills that dissolve under my tongue. I take progesterone, estriodol, and testosterone. And yes, ladies, don't think the testosterone is just for men. Testosterone is hugely important for women. I will do a whole video on that. Ask me any questions in the comments below. 
Those are the three things I take every morning. I also take low dose naltrexone every evening. That is for my thyroid. I take T3, T4 every morning before I eat anything or drink anything. That is for my thyroid. I take, uh, sorry, what I was just thinking of is actually for migraine prevention. Um, I think that's that's it for my for my um, hormones. That's it. That's it. I just had to make sure. Sorry, but that's pretty comprehensive. So I'm taking three. Oh, and then I, I also take a dose of progesterone because it was very low in progesterone for a while. So I take another dose of progesterone at night. So I take progesterone in the morning and at night. I take progesterone, estriol, and testosterone in the morning. I take low dose naltrexone at night and I take T3, T4 in the morning. That's a lot of stuff to take to balance your hormones, but it's worth it. And for those of you that are wondering what I spend on a monthly basis, of course it's all gonna depend on your doctor. It's going to depend on what you take. It's gonna depend on your compounding pharmacy. It's gonna depend, some of you might be able to get insurance to cover it. It really depends. When I first started, I was paying about 500 bucks a month. Then it went down to about 200 bucks a month. I'm currently paying about $425 a month. I would probably, I would give up some groceries if I had to, to make sure that I could pay for my bioidentical hormonal replacement treatment. That's how important it is. So I'm here to answer any questions. Um, this was, look at this video as really just an intro video for you guys. This is the first of many videos that I will do on the topic of hormones bioidenticals. I, like I said before, I will be recording special videos or specialized videos or more focused videos in the future on adrenal fatigue, my experience with adrenal fatigue. I will be recording um, videos on estrogen domi dominance. It's getting to be the end of the day. My experience with that. Um, certainly more, uh, more videos on how wonderfully successful um, my experience with my new doctor has been. I'm gonna be interviewing her on the show, um, but I'm happy to answer any of your questions. I hope that this introduction to bioidentical hormonal replacement, what to do, what not to do, how to get started was helpful. Consider it again, just an introduction. And again, I just wanna help you guys stop wasting time and get the heck started because it's the best step you'll ever take towards transforming your life and transforming your body. Trust me, get the heck started today. Guys, I hope you liked this video. I hope it answered some of your burning questions about hormones, about bioidentical hormones. I would love it if you would certainly go ahead, like the video, leave me a comment, tell me what your questions are. I'm dying to help you guys. You clearly are picking up on my passion about this topic. You clearly have picked up on the transformation that I've experienced most recently. So there's a lot more coming. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the bell so that you're notified when I've got new posts coming. And I will see you guys next time on The Kelly O Show.